Well, Petra, congratulations on winning the title. What do you think was the key to your win today? Um, I think I, I had to play more aggressive than I did in the beginning. I think uh, my serve needs to improve as well during the match. I mean, uh, it wasn't an really easy match today. I think that she came really strong. She really played great. She had to, otherwise she's not in the final. And I saw a little bit of the match yesterday when she played Joe and uh, she played really uh, great tennis. So I expected that match. I played her in Wuhan, so I know what I what I should should do and that's what I'm trying. For sure. And at the coin toss you got to meet um, Stephanie Graf. I'm curious what that experience was like and then seeing her again at the trophy ceremony. Well, I saw her yesterday for the first time by the physio room and she was very nice. I'm glad that she came. She is a great ambassador of what we can have and uh, she is a very nice person as well. So it was very um, it was very nice to, to see her by the coin toss and uh, it's great that she came. And finally, how do you assess your 2016 season and what are you looking forward to most come next season? Um, I think it was a great season for me. I won the bronze medal in the Olympics. I won the two titles. So, um, I mean, it was a really up and down season for me. It wasn't really easy from the beginning, but I'm proud of myself that I was going from down a little bit upper and that's, uh, will be, and that's what I'm going to try next season as well. Best of luck in 2017, Petra. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, champion Petra Kvitova. Petra, welcome back to the podcast for the second time this week. Thank you. <laughs> now, on a scale of one to ten, how tired are you feeling right now? Um, I don't think I'm that tired. I just uh, feel all my body. Uh, it's everything probably in the pain, so I need to uh, to take a few days off to get ready for the Fed Cup tie. Uh, I'm not looking forward, but of course now it's a uh, it's a little bit too difficult, a little bit tired. But you know the the, the winning it's always um, helping to recover faster. Yeah, for sure, and you managed to win Wuhan and Zhuhai this year, and Venus Williams also won Wuhan and Zhuhai last year. What is it about these courts that are that kind of go hand in hand with one another? Uh, I'm not really sure, but it's kind of funny that both of us uh, won the same tournaments in the end of the of the seasons, and um, uh, I'm not sure. I just do feel that maybe the courts are a little bit faster for our games. Uh, I think that both of us playing aggressive and. Uh, have a good serve, so I think it's uh, it's kind of paying off for us. You talked about in our last interview about kind of finding yourself, and I'm curious what that means to you, and that you feel like that is finding yourself personally, finding yourself professionally, because you said in the press conference you felt like you you refound your game. So I'm curious what finding yourself really means to you. I think it's at both sides. I mean, personal things as well, uh, tennis things. So I think that. I always love to play tennis. Um, I just sometimes it's a little bit difficult uh, when you're not really confident and I'm just not playing as well as I should. And I think these couple of matches when uh, I I won in the um, on the way it was really helping my confidence too. And uh, I did find myself. That means that um, probably I find a game again. I'm not I'm not afraid to go in for the shots. Even I miss them sometimes. But I'm still there, still trying to, to go for them, to serve better, and just putting the pressure on the opponents. This I think that I didn't really do in the beginning of the season. Of course, there was a small different things as well uh, going in my life, but uh, sometimes it's just uh, important to go uh, through all these things to, um, to find yourself. For sure. And you, mentioned the you mentioned also that not having a coach potentially helps you do that. I'm curious when you're trying to find yourself be your game or personally how much did it help you to kind of not have that many extra voices around and kind of just to focus on you and how you're feeling and what you're thinking um for the person who is always looking on the things more positively than uh, negative um i do have a david which uh, who is the fitness coach and he's kind of traveling a lot with me right now um, and he's helping a lot, of course, he's not a tennis coach, so I'm doing the tactics and the practices by myself, which it's a little bit funny and it's always a learning process for me, so it's nice to, to have the experience for sure, and I'm just glad that I, I, I have it, I think it will be nice for the future to have these kind of things, I think that uh, everything new is uh, it's, it's good for you, uh, if you take, the, you take uh, it uh, positively to your life then, and um, um, not to have tennis coach, of course, sometimes it's a little bit tricky. I'm glad that I, I played more matches, so I didn't really have to practice that much. Um, 
So that was helpful. <laughs> well, what does a Petra Kavinova practice session look like as imagined by you? And when you do, if and when you do get a new coach, will you expect to have that sort of collaboration where it's not totally reliant on the coach figuring everything out? Will you feel like now that you've had the independence, how difficult will that be for you to give it up? I think in everything it's about a compromise and about the communication. So. I hope that if I find a good coach, we're going to sit and talk about how everyone is looking my game and my schedule and whatever is counting with the tennis. Um, I am not sure I will tell him my experience for sure. I think I'm not the only person who needs to practice like uh, five hours a day. Um, of course, in the preparation, it's doesn't it's it's different story. But like on the tournaments, I just need to really focus on the game and to to have a good energy for the matches. And uh, that's I think that I really learn about, and uh, uh, I hope it will work. Yeah. And briefly going back to the final, having five straight wins over Svitolina heading in, this, what is it about her ball that kind of makes you comfortable on the court, and especially with all the improvements she's made, you're still quite confident against her. Uh, yeah, I think uh, those wins helped me probably with the confidence as well. Um, the last match I, I was break down as well in the beginning of the match and I was still able to turn it around which helped me today actually on the court as well uh, to have it in mind. And uh, I think, uh, I can't really say that it's a comfortable game for me. I just uh, know I need to play aggressive, she loves to play aggressive too. So I just need to be the first one who is putting the pressure on her and just play what I can. I mean, uh, sometimes it's a little bit longer already than I wanted, but I mean, that's the game and um, uh, she's doing what she has to to, to beat me and uh, she's thinking as well. So I think it's uh, fair enough and uh, I'm just, uh, I think the serve helped me a lot and I, I need to, to return, which uh, I think I, I was kind of good today in it, and uh, playing the, the rallies. I mean, she's really going for it as well, so it's just about the, uh, the few points for what's turning the match on my side. You've talked about the serve a lot this week, and I think when people think of you, they think of the forehand, and they think of the power and the precision on that shot. Is the focus on the serve now, how important do you feel that is going into 2017? Um, I think it's uh, the key point for sure of my serve, the, as a serve uh, of the season, the serve and the return, the beginning of the rallies and uh, that's that's very important to put the pressure on it already. I need to improve my second serve to the next season for sure. Of course my forehand it's a, it's a big one and I need to work on it as well, I do have still a little bit of of uh, missing shots over there but I think it's overall was pretty good uh, as you said the power is still still the key for me to, to play well and uh, I just need to uh, to keep it there. And finally so you're flying home tonight are you flying home or are you going to be flying to France what is your schedule with that cup next week? Uh, we're flying uh, to Prague we're taking car and go to Strasbourg uh, so it'll be fun I'm really looking forward to, to see the team uh, we have a great team so I can't wait to, to be with them over there and um, it will be last week of the season, so uh, it's always great to have it as well. So one last ride for the Czech Fed Cup team. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. <laughs>